it's been 21 years you know 21 years of of our smart ideas getting delivered uh, 21 years of our philosophy of uh, partnerships beyond contracts you know you'll appreciate that uh, being a bootstrapped company uh, an entrepreneurial journey has its ups and downs so first five years definitely we were looking around how to how to go to the market For the last 15 years we have seen a good growth in terms of our revenue footprint customer base so uh, you know, products have never been an issue for us. It's always been go to market. The fact that uh, the first three quarters of our journey, almost 75% of our revenue came from indirect sales, uh, but we have turned it around in the last three, four years where almost three quarters of our revenue comes from direct sales. So even the fact that we are well recognized in, in the leading groups, group telcos uh, globally, where they start with one operation, and this is our uh, performance. We go to other operations. So that way is quite happy, satisfied, being challenging. But then that's that's the fun of it. I think what we see in this arena here, uh, while people talk about the 5G, the cloud native, the microservices, the AI ML, which of course are important elements. I think the way we differentiate ourselves is that we are not a pure BSS play, player. Uh, in this age of digital transformation, you need to engage a customer, uh, be it uh, enterprise, be it, uh, be it a consumer. You need to engage them right from the onboarding process to their engagement, to retaining them. And that's where our six line of products, uh, a BSS, analytics, sales and distribution, uh, omnichannel and financial services, that's where all of these come together to offer a more holistic end-to-end -end user journey. Of course, given our experience uh, across multiple land of businesses, be it tier ones, tier twos, tier threes, MNOs, MVNOs, uh, there's a rich library of pre-canned journeys, which we can really bring off the shelf and really expedite the, the, the speed, speed to market. So that's one point which I believe is very important. Uh, Secondly, uh, I believe that a lot of our competitors, they've grown either by merging or acquiring stacks. So I believe, and that's the feedback we get from market as well, that the architecture for them is not streamlined. They, they, because they acquired, they merged, the architecture is not well thought of from day one. Whereas for 6D, they're all homegrown <laughs> products. The architecture is well thought of digital from day one. And these two parameters combined really help us help the business team of telcos to speeden the, the go-to market. It's not what we follow, it's about what the customer wants us to follow. You know, there are some customers who, who, who believe in uh, CapEx models and we are very okay to that. That's a very traditional model. Uh, we have seen that European players want a CapEx model. We are okay to that. Uh, there are many uh, Customers in the emerging markets who, who want something on a pay-as-you-grow OPEX model, we're happy to do that. In fact, that's a trend we are seeing very often uh, nowadays. Uh, besides these two, uh, interestingly, you know, we also want to put our skin in the game. And uh, it's not that we deliver and we walk out and we leave it to the customers for them to handle their business. Uh, but then we also put in our skin in the game by adding, uh, by bringing in a, 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 a value-based model or an outcome or an outcome-based uh, model where our our revenues are derived by the outcome that we bring in.